Hello you lovely people, it's time for another virtual stadium tour and today we are going to be taking a look around the Miami Dolphins, the NFL side stadium, the Sun Life Stadium. And as always for you, the first fact I have about this stadium is its overall capacity and for football, for NFL football games, this stadium can hold just over 65,000 people in it. Yes, that's right. Um, the next fact I have for you is that this is actually the third reiteration of this stadium. When this stadium initially opened in 1987, it cost $115 million to build. Um, but then it was rebuilt, because after that, the city of Miami actually was awarded a uh, MLB, a Major League Baseball franchise. And so the stadium was converted, was made a lot wider to incorporate the, the baseball team that was going into Miami. And this actually made the stadium a lot more universal. It meant that it was far more easily converted for soccer games, as well as NFL football games and MLB baseball games. However, in 2007, once again, the stadium was reconverted back into being more of an NFL side only. I believe that the MLB and the N NFL side split apart, and so the Major League Baseball side now has their own stadium across the city. But there are also plans right now at this very moment for a third expansion of the stadium. They're going to completely rebuild it, I believe, and it's going to cost $350 million, and I believe it's going to look absolutely amazing when it's done. They're planning to build, I believe, a roof on top of the stadium, and they're also going to put up many, many new uh, visual advertising hoardings and big screens for, for the people in the stadium to watch the game more closely. Another thing about this stadium is that it's had several names throughout its time. Um, I can just go through them here. The Joe Robbie Stadium, I believe it was known when it first opened. The Pro Player Park, the Pro Player Stadium, the Dolphin Stadium, and the Land Shark Stadium. Now, I can actually tell you that its most recent name, the Sun Life Stadium, has brought about once again, as most of these stadiums are, through a, um, through a deal. Sun Life is a company, and they've purchased the naming rights to the stadium on a five-year deal worth about $7.5 million per year. So, in total... That means that that deal is worth about $37.5 million in total. And that started in 2010, so in 2015, I don't know yet, but I believe its name will go back from being the Sun Life Stadium to being the Dolphin Stadium once again, because that's what the name was before Sun Life bought the rights to it. But anyway, thank you all for watching very much.